Question. DS. When a positive integer n is divided by 9, what is the remainder? Condition 1. n plus 1 is divisible by 9. Condition 2. n plus 19 is divisible by 9. Solution. Let us solve this DS question using the variable approach. When we are dealing with remainder questions in general, there are two methods we can follow. The first method is the direct substitution of numbers. Direct substitution. Find the first overlapping number and add the least common multiple of the divisors to that number. Remainder questions in DS questions, shortcut. When the divisor in the original condition is a factor of the divisor in the condition, that condition is sufficient. Let's apply the three steps of variable approach. Let us follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We are required to find the remainder when a positive integer n is divided by 9. Now, we have to find the value of n first. Follow the second and the third steps. From the original condition, we have one variable, n. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need one equation. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, d would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles and choose d as the most likely answer. Let us take a look at each condition. Condition 1 tells us that n plus 1 is divisible by 9, which means the remainder is 0, when n plus 1 is divided by 9. Thus, n plus 1 equals 9 times k. That is, n equals 9 times k minus 1. We can also write it as n equals 9 times k minus 1 equals 9 times k minus 9 plus 8 equals 9 times whole of k minus 1 plus 8. And therefore, the different values of n are 8, 17, 26, etc. In each case, the remainder will be 8, when 8, 17, or 26 are divided by 9. This condition has a unique answer, and thus is sufficient by CMT2, which states that the number of answers must be 1. Condition 2 tells us that n plus 19 is divisible by 9, which means the remainder is 0. When n plus 19 is divided by 9, thus n plus 19 equals 9 times k. That is, n equals 9 times k minus 19. We can also write it as n equals 9 times k minus 19 equals 9 times k minus 27 plus 8 equals 9 times whole of k minus 3 plus 8. And this is similar to condition 1. The different values of n are 8, 17, 26, etc. In each case, the remainder will be 8, when 8, 17, or 26 are divided by 9. Thus, the remainder is 8. This condition also has a unique answer and is sufficient by CMT2, which states that the number of answers must be 1. Also, according to tip 1, it is about 95% likely that D would be the answer when the value of condition 1 is equal to the value of condition 2. That is, condition 1 equals condition 2. Tip 1 is really important to solve GMAT Math DS questions. It often appears in the exam, so memorize this. Now, let us look at another way of solving this question. This is another shortcut to solve this question. The divisor in the original condition is 9, and the divisor in condition 1 is 9. Since the divisor 9 in the original condition is a factor of the divisor 9 in condition 1, condition 1 is sufficient. Also, the divisor 9 in the original condition is a factor of the divisor 9 in condition 2, so condition 2 is also sufficient. Each condition alone is sufficient. Thus, D is the correct answer. Answer, D.